What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be my recap for The Boys Season 3, Episode 4. Now, it starts with Soldier Boy being seen on an old show, from what I recall, while Mother's Milk is thinking about his family and growing angry while doing so. Butcher is then shown cleaning vomit up while Huey confronts him about being on the temporary compound V. Butcher tells him about killing gunpowder and to keep it a secret or else. Homelander is on the Coleman morning show once again, telling us that he's tired of the mainstream media lies. We then jump to Edgar, who is Stan Edgar, of course, who visits for Victoria Newman about disciplining Homelander for his recent behaviors while representing Vaught to remind him that Homelander can't just get away with anything. Newman seems concerned about doing this, but Edgar believes Homelander is afraid of him, so there's nothing to worry about. Frenchie is then shown taking Butcher to see Nina about this goal of killing Homelander and finding a weapon. Starlight tells Huey about her fake relationship with Homelander. Huey reassures her about their plan to hurt Homelander. We then see A-Train talking to Ashley about doing something regarding Blue Hawk's terror in the black communities. So there's nods to Black Lives Matter and all that stuff. The boys take a, take a flight to Russia from what I've gathered. And then Maeve and Starlight have a conversation about BCL Red, I believe. The weapon that should kill Homelander. Butcher's ego is shown to be getting the best of him when we see him talk rudely to his group members after they land in Russia. We then jump to a meeting at Vought headquarters to celebrate Supersonic joining the Seven. A-Train tries to talk about Blue Hawk, but it doesn't go well. Homelander is informed about Newman's press conference later that is centered around him. Uh, Mother's Milk talks to Butcher about his recent behaviors. The two almost share a heartfelt moment, or I would, what well, I meant to say, the two also share a heartfelt moment. Newman is then shown holding her press conference while the Seven looks on at Vaught HQ. She shocks Stan Edgar by announcing Homelander came forward and provided evidence of Edgar's corruption. The Seven asks what Homelander did to sway her conference. Edgar, Edgar is taken into custody. Kamiko convinces Frenchie that Butcher treats them like crap and they agree to leave after the mission. That's their plan right now anyway. We then see Homelander visiting Newman and deliver paperwork. He claims to be Edgar's where it revealed she has she has thought of him to be her dad, but it's not true. Thus revealing this is why she betrayed him on live TV. Huey catches Butcher taking more of the temporary soup chemical. He asked for some because he felt powerless against Homelander and it reminded him of every bully he had. Butcher declines being a hypocrite. This is where we start to see a lot of that hypocrite stuff. Very much so in full effect. And you start to get more of Huey's arc this season when it relates to, I guess you could say everyone's how they're dealing with strength and what it means to have certain strength and being finding your own strength within yourself without without it being artificial. Jumping further on into the recap, Homelander and Edgar have a chat at Vault HQ where Homelander reveals that he's not intimidated about Edgar anymore. Edgar tells Homelander that he isn't a god, but simply a bad product that will be exposed soon. Butcher is then shown using his powers during their next gunfight. Huey reveals he also took some when he took some of the compound V when he sticks his fist through someone's torso and runs away due to being nude as well. The boys question their intent slash morals because they are taking the source of what they all work to dethrone. Soldier Boy is then discovered to be alive and attacks Kamiko, but she doesn't heal. Home Light are seen in public with the press and they decide to fly together. Homelander reveals that he killed Supersonic because A-Train revealed the secret plan going on to kill Homelander. Now, this episode of The Boys, uh, that is my recap. I'm sure there's a lot of other important things that you might find important that occurred in the episode. Me, myself, personally, I just think that with episode four, what I love so much about this really was how it ended. And, of course, them going to Russia, discovering Soldier Boy, seeing how Huey is now taking the compound V despite Butcher telling him no. He's clearly showing some act of defiance. And to me, now that I've seen the whole season, I'm thinking, is this defiance his way of, again, trying to say, hey, I am strong. I'm strong enough to even make my own decisions, even though these decisions are, again, something that's very foolish. And you'll find out why they're foolish later on in the season as these episodes continue to release the revelation about why she newman that being went against stan edgar homelander definitely is showing how he has a lot of uh a lot of ways to get one up on people this time around he's he, his manipulation is just on another level he seems again very much more desperate the way he's just so desperate to try to just be ahead of starlight because again she's been made co-captain try to sustain this hold this chokehold on vaught and just his power over the members of the seven 
it's all just that is this is probably the most compelling that it's been since the first two seasons out of well out of the three i would say again the the time they spend in russia this episode i think a lot of you will have fun with that you're going to enjoy the action sequences that happen you're going to enjoy seeing soldier boy you're also going to enjoy where the season goes forward when it relates to soldier boy and tying him up in a lot of things that i will say this answer certain questions you might have regarding certain characters who have been very conflicted about certain parts of their life as we've seen in previous seasons and you'll have some answers for them and those conflicts that they faced here in season three where it kind of creates this wedge between should i go through with this or should i not because at the end of the day if i go through with this then i won't get that thing that i've always wanted that's always troubled me and i'm not going to say who the character is but yes it has something to do with what we have seen here with soldier boy and where we go into the season and all the new revelations that are going to come again i think the next episode after this is hero gasm i think episode five is hero gasm you guys are going to love that one too episode four airs tonight when you guys see it you can let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below or if you're someone who doesn't care and you just watch this for spoilers before an episode gets released that's fine with me too um i love this season so far i think a lot of you love it as well who is your favorite character in the boys is let me know that down in the comment section too do you have a favorite soup out of the seven uh what do you think is going to happen with Maeve in this season what do you think is going to happen with butcher where do you think this season is going to take us and what do you think is going to happen in the finale and a lot of other things i just want to know from you guys in the comment section below i'm not going to answer any questions about spoilers i'll only answer spoilers when we get to the episodes airing so i'll see if you guys are on the right track and if you are then you just are and you'll find out uh, but this episode again was very fun again like i said in my review if you watch my review the episodes just get progressively better so from here on out you're going to get i would say more consistently better episodes for the season to keep you hooked and enticed while you wait for that finale to come in the coming weeks which is amazing but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i have links on social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video